All right, whether you wanted to know or not, uh, here I am again working on uh, the next issue, which is tongue weight. So I said in the previous issue that uh, this is very heavy. Um, I think, I, I thought when I, when I put those uh, wheels on that it was gonna be pretty centered. And I think ultimately it will be okay because once I have the teardrop on and the galley kitchen and back, it's gonna uh, tip the scales towards the rear a little bit. But I also wanted to use this potentially without the teardrop. And like you see the, uh, the mechanical box in my old T-Rex, I wanted to do the same thing up here and put all the mechanicals and pumps and battery and everything right up front on this side. Uh, so I'm working this part out. Uh, so what I have today is I just bought a cheap scale from Walmart. Uh, it goes up to 400 pounds, it says. So we will see. I, I very much could exceed that. I, I don't know. Uh, but I just leveled this right now. So I just bought this um, a jack for Harbor Freight. So far, it seems awesome compared to the other junk that I had in here before that it was holding up, holding up those two tires, if you saw the other videos. Um, yeah, this so this thing seems sweet so far. Uh, but what I'm happy to see already is that I just used double stick tape and I put this on here and it's perfectly level lengthwise right now. And then, uh, let's see if I can spin this around. You can see in there, that is also perfectly level. So, so far so good. Uh, I've checked square a couple times and it seems square, but again, the frame itself doesn't really matter. I mean, you want the trailer, of course, to be square, which you, you have the tri triangle. So from the ball here, to normally the axle on each tire. Uh, this Timbrin system is a little bit different because there's no axle uh, per se. But so you want that triangle to be correct and it is, it looks good. Um, this frame is also square, but again, that's just the frame that's gonna be holding the teardrop. Uh, this frame isn't connected to the suspension or anything being pulled uh, or anything under stress, it bolts to the battery pack, and the battery pack is really what's being pulled. Um, let's see, what else? So, what I'm planning on doing, now that this is perfectly level, I'm going to measure from here to the floor. Uh, actually, I'll have to set that up first. Put that down here. Measure from the ball to the top of the scale, and cut a piece of wood, because for... Figuring out the the um, uh, tongue weight, you want it to be uh, level, otherwise it could be wrong. So that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, but I th just thought I'd share uh, the next step. Uh, Till next right. time. So it's actually not as oh, it disappeared already. Darn. Uh, I could probably redo that, but it's not as bad as I thought. I guess I'm just a weakling. Um, which is fantastic news. So I just pieced together a, a bunch of different layers. This has been dropped. Uh, I'm going to jack this up real quick again. And the scale will probably reset. Come on, scale. There it goes. All right. It is zeroed. It is ready. So I lower this. Oh, there we go. So it's all the way down. Oh, it did just say 227 last time, but right now it's saying 236, or I'm sorry, 232.6, which is actually <laughs> pretty awesome. I, I think that's gonna be pretty fine. Um, yeah, because I'll have extra weight in the back. You're just naturally with teardrops. You have your kitchen. I'm, I'm going to try to keep everything minimal. Uh, I was actually planning on building what they call a foamy, which is mostly out of foam, if not all out of foam and fiberglass. And there's different methods you could use to, instead of fiberglass, uh, I'll probably touch on that more later. 
Um, oh, I did leave that stuff on there, but the cardboard doesn't really weigh much, and that's the uh, the wrench is kind of centered. So, but yeah, two thirty ish. I think it sounds pretty good. I think we'll be okay, cause then I think I could probably still keep the stuff up here, and I think the extra weight in the back for the kitchen and food and just I, I'm gonna try not to do a fridge. I'm trying to keep this pretty minimalistic, uh, just to cut down on weight and keep it as light as possible. But I think whatever I have in the back anyway is in just inherently going to add weight to the rear. And yeah, I think this will be good. Uh, I'm very happy to see that. Uh, so that, I guess that's it for tongue weight. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll chime in with some more. But so far, I think tongue weight's going to be all right.